In this video, we'll be looking at how to do effects over time. Sometimes we want to have an effect the entire way through a clip, not always. Sometimes we want to increase or decrease the blur or color correction as we go through a clip, especially if we don't want it to be jarring to the viewer. Doing these effects over time is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the effect stack which lists the effects on the selected clip and we're going to find the effect that we want to use this on. We're going to click add keyframes. Now the keyframes are basically start and stop points for an effect and the computer kind of fills in the middle part of it here. So if we set the amount of blur at zero seconds to zero and we set the amount of blur at 8 seconds and 18 frames to full blur, this is what we'll get. As you can see, the strength of the blur effect actually increases over time. We can actually get a graphical representation of this by looking at this white line. It's a very thin line here, so you may not be able to see it, but it actually puts lines in the clips to show the strength of the effects over time. Now, it does show up if you're just using a single effect with no keyframes whatsoever. It'll just be a straight line the whole way across. But this gives us a nice way to get a quick reference as to how strong an effect should be as we're previewing a clip. Now if we wanted to, for example, make it so that the effect peaks in the middle, all we have to do is click this button here, this plus sign that says add keyframe, and it'll actually add one at the midway point right now, and we'll actually set the amount here up to 1000, and we'll set the amount at 818 all the way down. As you can see, our white line actually did peak in the middle now, so let's watch what happens. As you can see, it's exactly what we would have expected. So, these are pretty simple, but they can also be extremely powerful depending on how willing you are to experiment with them. That said, uh, go out, explore your options. There are a ton of different parameters for some of these filters, so experiment with them. Find out what you can do with them. It's all about experimentation. And I hope to see everybody in the next video.